Hey there, book babes, and welcome to Beauty in a Book with me, Kerrigan, from Union County Public Library. Beauty in a Book is a series that I will be doing where I talk about books and then do makeup inspired by them. So today we are going to be talking about Alexandra Bracken's new book, Lore. Um, it just came out not that long ago, and I am so, so excited to do makeup because I was really heavily inspired by the gold on the cover here. And also um, on the inside pages, there is some, um, if I can find it. <laughs> There's some marbled pages and I just thought that was so gorgeous. And I saw it on the shelf and I was like, I have to do makeup about this. So um, with that being said, I'm going to read the inside cover just to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at here, and then I will get started on the makeup. Okay. Every seven years, the Agon begins. As punishment for past rebellion, nine Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. They are hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. Long ago, Lord Perseus fled that brutal world, turning her back on the hunt's promises of eternal glory after her family was murdered by a rival line. For years, she's pushed away any thought of revenge against the man, now a god, responsible for their deaths. Yet, as the next hunt dawns over New York City, two participants seek her out. Castor, a childhood friend Lore believed to be dead, and Athena, one of the last original gods, now gravely wounded. The goddess offers Lore an alliance against their mutual enemy, and a way to leave the Agon behind forever. But Lore's decision to rejoin the hunt, binding her fate to Athena's, will come at a deadly cost, and it may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to bring humanity to its knees. If that doesn't give you chills like it just did me, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so, I am going to start on my face, and I will come back when it's time for the eyes. All right, guys, I am back. My base is done. Um, I've gone ahead and primed my eyes to prep for the eye makeup. Um, today, I'm going to be kind of doing a marbled graphic liner kind of look. Um, this look is definitely not for the faint of heart if you do decide to try it. I definitely did not pick something easy, but my brain told me that I had to do this based on this book. All right, guys, I am back and this is what we have got so far. I'm gonna do uh, my lashes and add some lips and I will be back and we will talk book. All right, guys, I am back. This is the finished look. I'm just going to finish it off with some glowy spray. Okay, so. Let's go over what all of these things are, what they mean, why I chose to do what I did. So for the face, I really wanted to pull a lot of inspiration from the idea that gods and goddesses are perfection. Um, in the book, the author kind of talks about how when a hunter becomes a new god, um, their features and their body are enhanced. Um, to be closer to perfection. So that's why I chose that for the face. Um, the black line above the marble is kind of, it kind of represents the dark overtone of the book because it there is some really heavy stuff going on. There's kind of a lot of death. It's, it's a little heavy, but it's a fun read. The gold bronze color 
um, is very prominent throughout the whole book. The hunters wear gold masks. There's a gold shield. Lots of gold. Gold represents um, wealth. And a lot of the families, the bloodlines, are very wealthy because they're very old. Um, I just kind of picked a neutral lip and added some sparkle because I thought it was fun. <laughs> so let's talk a little more about the book. So one thing I will say is that in the beginning, I was a little bit confused. It does kind of information dump on you a little bit. Um, that's one thing that I kind of struggle with. Like if you give me a whole bunch of information in the beginning, I'm going to have to go back and read it again. Um, if you do decide to read this, one thing I will tell you is in the front of the book, it gives you the bloodlines. And this is very important. You're going to want to know these because it refers back to them a lot. Um, Alexandra Bracken has also written another series. I'm pretty sure this is just a single novel-ish. Um, it's a little bigger than a novel, I think. But she wrote The Darkest Minds. It was fantastic. I read that one too. So when I saw that she came out with a new book, I was so excited. And I just thought it was beautiful. So this book took me on a roller coaster ride of emotions. And I was ready to throw it out the window. Because... I was reading it and the plot flows really smoothly until you just like get break checked. You think it's going to end the way that the plot twist takes you, but it doesn't. Just the ending. I call in book rant to my best friend a lot. And he was like, okay, what's wrong? And I was like, this book. <laughs> I was so angry. I ran into him for like an hour about the things that were going on. Um, I really, really love the imagery that Alexandra Bracken gives us with this book. Um, not only like the way that the font is, the way that some of the pages look, like the beginnings of chapters, like it's got this pillar here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, some of Some of the things just on the cover... Aside from that, the way that she gives images with her words, it helps you create a really vivid picture in your head. Um, the pacing is great. It's like a typical YA pacing. Um, so I love that because I don't like it when things are slow. That's just me. But I really, really enjoyed this and I highly recommend that you read it. It was a fun read. It has some great um, Greek mythology inspiration in it especially if you really enjoy greek mythology this is the perfect book for you so you can find this in ucpl's ya section um it is new so it'll be over on the side with the new books um thank you so much you guys for watching this has been beauty in a book stay inspired book babes